So let's begin by allowing our bodies to settle in and get comfortable. Maybe you want to sit on a cushion or a chair. Maybe you want to lie down. Really let your body get comfortable. Settling into the posture that you've chosen. And from there, allow your body to relax. Just establishing a comfortable, relaxed posture. If there's any muscular tension, perhaps in your face or your jaw, your shoulders, your arms, your legs, letting go of that. And from here, bringing a gentle, easy smile to your face. Doesn't have to be a huge grin. Just a gentle, easy, relaxed smile. allowing your body to become happy just from the simple act of smiling. See if you can let this position of your body be the home base for this practice period. Comfortable, relaxed body with a gentle, easy smile on your face. And from here, take a few moments to consider things that you're grateful for today. Maybe it's the food that you ate. Maybe it's having a roof over your head. Maybe it's the weather where you are, the people that you got to interact with. Whatever it is, reflect on one or several things that you're grateful for today. See if that resonates in your body. If considering intellectually things that you're grateful for has any impact on your emotional body. And if so, really enjoy that. Really notice and savor that effect. Letting yourself feel that gratitude.
each of these steps that we've taken, preparing our body to be comfortable and relaxed, inviting a gentle, easy smile to our face, and reflecting on things that we're grateful for. All of these are already metta, are already loving kindness practice. You can always return here. If you'd like, you can move forward with the practice. Given that it's Mother's Day tomorrow, we'll be focusing on establishing a sense of loving kindness for our mothers. They're alive or dead. Feeling grateful to the woman that brought us into this world. Of course, it's possible that might be difficult for some people, might have a difficult connection with our mothers. If that's the case for you, you can always switch to directing loving kindness towards someone else, anyone else, someone else's mother, your father, yourself, a close friend. It's all good. But if it feels good, if it feels within your reach, bring to mind your mother, a visual image of your mother. Perhaps at a time when two of you were very happy together. Visualize that in your mind. This image of your mother. not so important what image you use or how clear it is. What matters is that it resonates for you. You can connect to this image and feel positively about it. Sense of warmth or gratitude, love, affection, joy. See if you can bring to mind one or more images that move you in that direction as you consider your relationship with your mother. Notice how that image or series of images impacts your emotional body as you bring these images up. Perhaps it deepens your smile, brings a sense of warmth and love into your heart. If there's any impact like that, kindling of positive emotions, 
Notice what that's like and enjoy it. Feel the love for your mother. Again, you can stay with the same image, maintaining it, bring it up again and again, or you can move through multiple images, maybe even many images, whole scenes in your mind of times that you connected deeply with your mother. These images or scenes, they might be real or they might even be imaginary. Perhaps imagining what it was like for you when you were an infant and your mother cared for you before you could remember it. Or when you were a young child. Or it could be a treasured memory. Times that you spent together the love that she showed you. Whether it's one image or many, real or imaginary, use your visual imagination to maintain and develop a sense of love for your mother. We're using our visual imagination to ignite, spark, sense of love and care in our hearts. It's one of the basic moves and loving kindness practice, to use the imagination to spark love emotionally. Notice whether that's working for you or not. Maybe it feels easy and delightful. If so, you can really enjoy that and continue that momentum. losing yourself in the reverie of imagining your connection with your mother. 
feeling how that impacts you emotionally. If on the other hand, it doesn't seem to be clicking for you, you can always switch to the other basic move, which is to use auditory thinking, mental talk, to spark this sense of love in your body. You can use a phrase like, I love you, mom. Thank you so much for all the love you gave me. Or you can improvise, reflecting on the connection that you have with your mother. Using a phrase or multiple phrases that really resonates for you right now in that connection. I always find for myself that being creative and inventing many different phrases really draws my attention and sparks that sense of love and care in my body. Maybe just one phrase like, I love you, or thank you, directed towards your mother. It's really resonating for you. In case, experiment with what feels right for you right now in your body. Of course, as adults, we can see now that our mothers weren't perfect. They had challenges and flaws. But at the same time, this is the person that brought us life. It cared for us and supported us as best they could. loved us in all the ways that they knew how. See if you can connect to that and feel that. Perhaps a sense of Trust or acceptance, forgiveness, love, gratitude, calm, joy arises as you consider your relationship with your mother. If there's any positive affect that arises, really notice and savor that.
trusting that feeling these positive feelings is a way to say thank you to your mother for this life. there is any sense of these positive emotions in the body, whether from the images that you've generated in your mind or from the mental talk, directing love towards your mother. See if you can ride that wave. Fully feeling those feelings maintaining them and even spreading them, letting them grow in your body, feeling them more and more.
Very good. Finally, take a moment to reflect back on your experience during this practice period. Consider what happened, what you felt, what successes you had and any challenges that arose. Really reflect on that intellectually, metacognitively, remembering what it was like for you and considering it. 